What's up everybody, welcome back to the Vapor Garage. We are at Retro Renos today and we're going to be building a custom bumper and tire carrier for this 77 13 foot scam. guys we are going to get started on this scamp shortly here but as you guys know campers and scamps is not normally my thing i've done one renovation for retro renos the rhino and i helped them out from time to time with the metal fabrication stuff i made some floor pieces made some bumpers some jacks just things like that he's not really set up to weld uh, but i am and i enjoy doing that stuff so i'm happy to kind of come over and help do that stuff so let's talk to dan the co-owner of retro renos and kind of learn a little bit about this scamp and then we'll dive into the bumper. What's up? I'm Daniel. I'm the co-owner of uh, Retro Renos. Uh, today we had Barefoot Garage come in and do our bumper um, and work on that a little bit. But uh, what this is, is this 1977 Scamp 13 foot. We did a full reno on this guy. Um, you can kind of see through the window, we're still working a little bit, but it's got all new paint on the inside, the outside. It's got all new plumbing and electrical. Um, this thing is going to be ready to roll and hit the road for camping this summer. Uh, the customer is from all the way in Ohio, so they're going to come down, grab it, and uh, camp all the way back up. So we have to make sure that this camper is ready to go off the lot, ready to go camping. And uh, that's what it will be, especially with our help from Barefoot Garage. All right, so this is the stock setup, minus the center here, of what your scamp bumper typically was. It's just angle iron. Uh, it has the old school jacks, which are kind of trashed. Um, and we cut the middle out to do some fiberglass repair right here. And we're actually going to build a complete custom bumper and tire carrier, kind of put the tire up here uh, out of two by two tubing. So uh, we're going to go and get the old stuff cut off and then we'll take a look at some of the new tubing and get it mocked up. It's junk bumper. We got a new piece of two inch thin wall tubing. And the goal is we're gonna start with this across. So we are gonna make sure that we leave enough room for an upright. It looks like we're good. We're gonna bring it up kind of near to the belly band. Probably trying to keep that tire somewhere in this region, but we'll, we'll fine tune that as we go. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of final place this. We're gonna use our straight edge and we're gonna go ahead and mark a perfectly vertical line to the old bracket. I don't want to use any of this shoot up metal. Um, so we're going to mark that. I'm going to kind of use as much as I can of the old metal and uh, we'll get that flush cut. And then we'll probably go ahead and get this ready to roll uh, and tacked in place here. So the bumper will come out and then it's going to have a couple of little uh, wings going around the corner as well. And then we'll work on upright with some supports. All right, so we got our bumper piece in place here and we decided we wanted our little uh, mitered bits to be about six inches. So I've come a half inch off of my bracket and what we're going to do is take our tube we're going to pretend like this is the tube underneath and we are going to turn it until we get to the angle we want and then we're going to trace that so since you can see that angle i'm going to pie cut this out bend it by hand and then i will weld this seam back together so on the outside it's totally seamless and it's going to clear our brackets here so we're going to go ahead and do that on both sides i kind of know six inches plus a half an inch plus the distance between the brackets We'll do the same on the other side, cut it to length, and then we'll go ahead and get these trimmed up and ready for it to come on with enough room for our centerpiece. Alright, so you may have seen our setup before, but this is a Miller 130 XP from the 90s. We're on a tank of Argon CO2, and it's just a very basic 035 wire MIG setup. So what we're going to actually do here is we're going to plate the end of this. We're actually going to use a piece of the old bumper because it's pretty beefy. 
and we're gonna plate this just so it's sealed and it can't get rust in here. And that gives us the place to mount our new bumper too. So uh, we're gonna go and get plates cut and get this plated off and then we'll put that new bumper up, start worrying about the tire carrier. it off the end of the axle so that it's nice and sealed and we have our bumper as you can see we took that pie cut out and then we're going to weld this up i had somebody hold it and i kind of tacked one side so i'm going to fully weld this and then we'll finish weld it and grind it like we did in here and then we'll offer it up to the camper and tag it in place go we got our bumper tucked in nice and tight this is going to be incredibly strong to mount whatever it is we need to this for now we are just going to go ahead and use it as a spare tire carrier but in the future if they want a little hitch for bikes or whatever like this this will be more than adequate and more strong than this factory piece so we're going to burn it on start working on the tire carrier So what I think we're going to do is go ahead and take these, put them in down position and position them pretty close to the edge so we get the maximum width of stabilization. And uh, we'll go ahead and tack these in place and then they will be ready to roll. So uh, we're going to put two new jacks on here, quick little bit of welding, and uh, then we'll move on to the tire carrier. All right, bumpers on, jacks are on. It's a little rainy, so we got to be loud today. I've got my upright. You can see the pie cut that I cut in there. That seems to be the theme is the pie cut because this bows out a little bit and I wanted the bumper nice and tight. So we've got the center of the bumper lined up with the center of our tube and we're going to mount it and probably just go ahead and tack this in place and then we're going to start bringing it out for that tire. We want the tire to sit in as tight as it can. It looks like we need about four inches from the surface here until, or sorry, about three inches until the uh, mounting wheel surface of the rim. Uh, so we're going to probably build that out with a couple of pieces of tubing. Um, so tack, build it out, and then we'll bolt that tire on. All right, we are making progress. We have got a little standoff with two studs that the tire will mount to. And we've got a little bit of extra support here. So we went ahead and cut a couple of pieces with a 45. We'll probably weld these in and uh, give this tire carrier a little extra support and a little extra style because that's always important. And uh, this camper will have a bumper like no one else has ever had and no one else will unless you come see Retro Renos. For the 77 scamp is done. We have a BD tire carrier triangulated in with all two inch brand new steel. We'll get caps to put in there. We got brand new jacks on both sides so it is very sturdy and very strong. 
This is gonna outlast anything that would have come from the factory. It's a lot cleaner, a lot more modern for this camper. So if you like campers like this, drop us a comment where you can contact Retro Renos over on Facebook or on Instagram. Uh, and here you can stay tuned to the Barefoot Garage Jacks right here on YouTube. In between episodes, you can follow us on Instagram at Barefoot Garage Jacks. See you guys.